and this servo mo servo motor you are using to unlock the door okay now let me show you so that you can understand now i'm using this tag you can see that led and servo motor and this uh, lcd lcd led servo motor all this thing you can see at the same time yes now access granted green signal door unlocked one second now i will use another tag you can see red signal long budget and it is not allowed one second you can see access denied is it visible welcome to the new session so today in this session uh, we shall use the new uh, rfid and the servo motor you can see this one is rfid rfid reader servo motor and we'll be using this uh, budget and we'll be using this lcd and this is our arduino board breadboard led and these are some of the tag cards okay so these are the things we'll be using for this project so in order to connect i have written this all the things and i am giving you this one in the description so as per the description you can make all the connections at this rfid you will find different pins so sda and uh, mostly so different pins are there and all the pins for example sda you will connect to the digital pin 10 in arduino board you will find this line is for digital pin and this line is for power pin and this is your analog pins digital pins power pins and analog pins right so all these things you will connect as per the detail given here sda pin you will connect to digital pin 10 so you can see here this first pin is sda pin is the white one i will connect to digital pin number 10 sck to digital pin 13 so the next one is sck pin and i am connecting this one to digital pin 13 so similarly you can connect all the pins as per the instruction given here next when you're coming to servo motor so next second one is given the description for servo motor so in servo motor you will find three pins the red one is power pins and one more is ground another one is digital pin one thing you remember in this breadboard what you have to do you have to do some technique in power pins you will find one 5 volt pin so this 5 volt here you can see one 5 volt pin this 5 volt you can give here as a common because it is positive we can give 5 volt and near to 5 volt we find one ground so the ground we can give here as the negative pin or ground this is one common setting okay this servo motor requires 5 volt you can see servo motor digital pin pin signal digital point pin 6 this long one this orange one is your digital pin you have to use digital pin 6 it is connected to digital pin 6 the servo motor then the red one is uh, vcc 5 volt next another ground pin is ground so this is your ground pin you can see here these two lines the first one is positive line and the next one is negative line that is ground because all the leds the ground is connected to the negative terminal right similarly when i'm coming to lcd lcd has vcc 5 volt so you can see here a ground vcc okay all these things are there the ground i will connect to the ground i can connect here somewhere in the ground yeah let me connect here the ground i'm connecting here because this negative ground is connected next one is our vcc vcc is connected to 5 volt so this vcc i'm connecting to 5 volt i can put here then all other point pins you will connect as per the instruction given here so then led digital pin 8 uh, digital pin 4 5 and 3 3 4 5 so digital pin 3 4 5 you can connect to the leds so this is our led and remember generally we are using register with led but you may use or may not use only the register we are using in order to minimize the flow of current so digital pin 3 4 and 5 so here we have 3 4 and 5 after all the connection so you will go here and you will find the code here if you click here code you will find all the code here then this code you can copy everything then you can go to arduino you can put yeah, you, will, you will put here you can after going here you can select ctrl a then ctrl v then you now are all the connections are ready so here in this connection you can see this is servo motor lcd and this is rfid reader and this is one budget and uh, arduino board 
breadboard LED is all connected. Now let me connect this one to the computer and I will execute the coding and you can see the output here. Let me connect. Now this is connected. So all the connections I have written here and this all detail I'm giving you in the description. So you can connect all the pins as per the description, then you can get the output here. So let me take you to my coding here. So this I'm here using this one for uh, get the UID of this uh, car and there are many cards. So I will be getting the UID of the car. So you can see here the UID of this car is something and the same thing I have written here. Yeah, so the code, the UID I have written here, only this thing you will be changing, remaining almost all will be same if you are using the same connections. My server motor is connected. So if I run, so you can see here, I have written the message welcome. I want to show you here. I have written here welcome, that LCD print is welcome. That is the same thing you can see here. If I change something here, the same difference you'll find here. Let me change, uh, let me write what I'll write. Welcome to Ajay. Can you see? Then after that, I will run here. If I upload, you can see the change here. Yes, welcome to Ajay AIS. <laughs> yeah, something I have written. Whatever you will be writing, the same thing you will find here. All the pin connections. So this card, so when I use this card, you will see the green signal. Then you can see that it is allowed or access granted. But all other pins I have not allowed. So that time you will see red signal. That means it is not allowed. And this servo, mo servo motor you are using to unlock the door. Okay, now let me show you so that you can understand. Now I'm using this tag. You can see that LED and servo motor and this uh, LCD. LCD, LED, servo motor, all these things you can see at the same time. Yes, now access granted, green signal, door unlocked. One second. Now I will use another tag. You can see red signal, long buzzer, and it is not allowed. One second, you can see access denied. Is it visible? Okay, you can see the screen. Access granted, door unlock, green signal. One second, one second. Yes, so if I use another tag, red signal, access denied. Another tag. Yes, access denied. Another tag, access denied. This project we are using for lock and unlock system in different projects. So high school students, they're using this project for the different purpose. Now, if I remove the cable and if I remove the cable here, now you can see, now the cable is removed and already in the microcontroller the what the code you have written here it is already saved here because you can see this is the main chip where the uh, coding is recorded now i'm using some extra power so if i use the extra power you can see the execution So you can use this project for this class and you can design this one. So in the next class, we'll design one more very interesting project using some different components. And in uh, in the next, uh, I think second next, we will be using the drone project. Okay, the drone project, how the functions, all the uh, record codings we will use. So keep on watching. So let us meet in the next class. Thank you.